Hello students, this is Oshini from Chinta.com. Today I want to share with you this, the little red book from the month of June. And of course this pen. There is something funny about this pen. This is like an ink pen. It's built by a company called Shulekha. It used to build ink and pen a long, long time ago. It seems that they have revived the company. I really like this pen. And I really love this notebook. These two things are my critical instruments for doing mathematics. And I want to share with you the strategy. You know, most of the time when we are starting our day and the entire day passes, we do 10 different things. We often miss doing the amount of mathematics that we would likely want to do. Because so many things are happening, right? And um, it's the discipline, the consistency that matters. We all know that. There is a recent study by Stanford University's medicine school about how consistently doing mathematics for over a year can change the neuroplasticity of the mind. I will uh, talk to you about it in a different video. It's a very interesting finding. So doing this regularly, doing this consistently and systematically is of critical importance. But how do you make time? How do you discipline yourself to do this? I'll tell you what I do. This is sometimes also known as time boxing. But I really have a bigger goal in mind. I have this small notebook and this notebook and this pen with me all the time. When I'm traveling by car or by public transportations, maybe when I'm sitting in the office, I'm sitting at a cafe, I have this thing. And uh, maybe I will ask the uh, videographer to zoom in. I, every day I have these three things. A problem, a paper, a book. That's the strategy. Every day when I start, this is for today. Every day when I start, I start with a problem, a paper and a book. And maybe I'm doing this for some time. The paper I'm reading it for maybe three weeks. So every day the same paper will be there. Similarly, the book might be there for more than a month. But I make sure to write down every day which problem I'm going to tackle today. I always have a really good problem. Here I see the problem is from INMO, Indian National Math Olympiad 2010, problem number one. It's a pretty good problem. The paper is related to whatever research problem I'm working on. So... This is the sublinearly Morse boundary. Um, this is by Ching and some other authors. I'm looking at specifically 3.7 section. So I also mentioned the section number. And finally, I have the book. So this book is Geometry of Relators. This is 4.10. Uh, the section is 4.10 that I'm looking at. So once I have set these three big goals for the day, and I have assigned some time to, the, to each of the activities. Now, my mind is actually ready. Because whenever I get a little amount of time, I invest in this. I am never out of focus because I have set the focus at the very beginning of the day. So even if I'm traveling, even if I am sitting in the office or ca in the cafe or wherever I'm, whatever I'm doing, I'm traveling or something like that. I'm never at this question that what should I do? What should I learn? Because I always know at the beginning of the day, I have set this up for myself. So my request to all of you is get this little red book, get a pen, maybe a young ink pen. Ink, ink pens are really fun. So you can get something like that. Uh, and at the beginning of the day, fix a problem, fix a paper, and fix a book. That will be your 
core area of focus for the day now you might say um, but i'm in middle school or my i'm in high school i should i read papers yeah of course uh, students at chadda we always encourage them to read papers even in middle school after they have done olympiad mathematics for some time um excellent journals exist which publish beautiful papers that can be understood by middle school and high school students one example is mathematical gazette by cambridge university you can check it out it's a very beautiful and a very ancient journal on mathematical sciences quanta is another quant is another one so those two are different so the quite a few actually are there and about what about the books you should always read books authored by really great mathematicians not just the books published by some publishing house for some contest you should always read books authored by great minds it will let you see into their mental processes it will encourage you to think like them that's very important so a book a beautiful challenging problem and a paper in a small notebook which you can carry with yourself you can take it anywhere and your days will be much more productive you, tr- you can trust me on that happy doing mathematics and i'll see you in the next video take care bye